So this Bristol firm recently developed an amazing product which they found could clean anything from, from shot silk right through to rusty six inch armor plate. And it was quite amazing. Uh, the only problem was they couldn't think of a name for it. And the advertising boys couldn't come up with anything at all. So eventually they, they put it round the works and made it a competition. And about 11 o'clock that morning, the office boy trotted into the advertising manager and he said, I thought of a name for the product, sir. And, and the bloke said, what's that then, lad? He said, well, I thought we'd call it bugger. <laughs> so the manager said, uh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Why? So the lad said, well, sir, he said, it stands for best universal grit, grime and effluent remover. <laughs> So, so the manager said, hi, oh, oh yes, ah, yes, I see, lad, very good, like it, like it, he said, ha, uh, he said, only trouble is, he said, I don't really think that Mrs. Bloggs of Bolton is quite ready for a trendy name like that, he says, very good effort though, lad, he said, made a note of your name, he said, keep trying. So the lad said, oh, he said, that's a pity, sir, he said, but I thought of a good slogan we could use with it and all. And the manager said, well, he said, so what's, what's, what's that then, lad? He said, well, he said, we could say, if Daz will not whiten it and Omo won't brighten it, bugger it. <laughs> His mate came in and suggested it be called the finest universal cleanser known. But, um, <laughs> anyway, let me see. In the end, in, in the end it was, in the end it was called the Handier Household Help. For the Handier Household Help, Let's have a roll upon the drum. I dub that in on the real thing. I mean, it's the answer to your. <laughs> it's the answer to your problems. It will solve them, everyone. It's universally popular in colleges in homes for removing excess pubic hair in mending concrete gnomes. <laughs> you can stick it down your toilet, you can bung it on your walls, you can buy it in pint canisters for spreading on your banisters. It's only six and fourpence from your local hardware store. It's a handier household help than you have ever had before. Now Mr Jones went fishing to try and catch some trout But though he stood for hours and hours it seemed his luck was out He tried some handier household help and quickly changed the scene He caught mermaids, the Titanic and a nuclear submarine It removes the stains from carpets and the blemishes from glass Keeps your radio free from static and will fumigate your attic It's only six and four from your local hardware store It's a handier household help than you have ever had before Yeah, that good effort, huh? <laughs> one, one, right <laughs> Miss Brown was most depressed because she didn't have much figure She smeared her bust with household help to try and make it bigger the smell sent Miss Brown's boss berserk as she sat on his knee. Now Miss Brown's figure's bigger where it did not ought to be. It will insulate your kitchen if you spread it nice and thick. It will grant your fondest wishes and get egg stains off your dishes. It's only six and fourpence from your local hardware store. It's a handier household help than you have ever had before. <laughs> Mrs. Smith complained to us her sheets was always grey. We recommended household help to take the stains away. She dropped some in her husband's beer about a month ago. Now Mrs. Smith's a widow, but her sheets is white as snow. And it reproduces pictures upside down or back to front It will clean the streets of Dunstable or renovate a constable It's only six and fourpence from your local hardware store It's a handier household help than you have ever 